Yo, what is going on guys? Evan Dini here bringing you another Division video. In this, I'm going to be showing you the route that I like to run in the Dark Zone, which starts in DZ2 and ends in DZ4. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm glad you could stop by. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button. I really appreciate it and it definitely helps out the video. Now, let's get started. So there is two places you can start, either at the sports store or down the street in the contaminated zone. Personally, I start at the end of the street, but if you start at the sports store, then this would be your second stop. This area is controlled by cleaners, which makes them fairly easy to deal with due to the explosives they are always carrying around. Once you've cleared out the area, be sure to grab the dark zone chest if it's up. Now we are going to be heading north on 6th Avenue for about two blocks. Then you're going to want to make a left and enter this subway entrance. Once down there, take a left, then the second right. There should be a name boss in here, but sometimes he doesn't spawn. But I always check because there is another dark zone chest in here as well. Moving on, you will want to find your way back to the surface and make your way to this extraction area. This point can be a bit tricky at times, especially if you're doing this alone, because there are so many NPCs here with the boss. You also need to watch out for other players here, because players do like to go rogue here a lot for some reason. There is also another Dark Zone chest here, so be sure to grab it if it's up. Moving on, we will be going to West 42nd and making our way to this subway entrance. There are more than likely always be a name boss down here along with another dark zone chest. Be sure to grab it. Now make your way back up to the street the same way you came down. Around the corner we have our next stop. This is the refueling station and this name boss seems to spawn pretty quickly so he should be here most of the time. But once you clear out all the NPCs there is a division tech case at the top of the stairs so grab it if it's there. Next, we will be making our way up north on 5th Avenue for about two blocks. Then you will want to take a left. Halfway down the street on your right, there will be NPCs along with another named boss, which is usually a sniper. There is a dark zone box and a division tech case here as well. For our last stop, make your way back to 5th Avenue and head north for a block. Then you're going to want to take a right. Head all the way down the street and there will be another contaminated zone and again they are cleaners. Once all the NPCs have been cleared there is a dark zone chest in the back along with two level 30 chests here. With this being the last stop I'm sure you have items to extract. Well right next to the contaminated zone there is an extraction point on top of a parking garage. This is the only extraction I use while running this route. The reason I don't use the extraction at Bryant Park is because ads always spawn there and cut into time you should be running the route. After this last stop you will want to head south on Medicine Avenue. After about a block you will come across a checkpoint where you can restock on ammo and med kits. And that's really the end of the route I run in the dark zone. After exiting the checkpoint, you can make your way back to the refueling station to check the spawn. If the NPCs are not there, head back to the sports store or the first contaminated zone and start over. You can run this alone, but I would recommend at least one other person tag along with you. But ideally, you'd want a team of four. That makes it super easy and very quick to run this. Since six of the seven named bosses will be 31, you will also have a higher chance of high ends dropping. Not to mention, you will also be raking in the Phoenix credits while doing this. Now, if you do give this route a try, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. But if not, that's perfectly fine. Everybody has their preferences, but like I said, this is the route that I run all the time in the DZ, and I love it, so I figured I would share it with you guys. Now, that's going to be wrapping things up for me, but if you found the video helpful, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to sub for future Division content. But as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.